Well, the event is really, as it says, Tim Rice and Friends. And I'm not a very good singer, but I've been lucky enough to have been involved with lots of great composers over the years and written, written some songs which have done quite well. And I've asked various talented singers who are friends of mine to come up and sing some of them like Don't Crack Me Argentina, I Don't Know How to Love Him, I Know Him So Well, Circle of Life. And we've got chums like um, Francis Raffel, uh, who's a big West End and Broadway star. They're mainly theatre people. Um, my old friend Rick Waitman's going to be there. We're still putting the team together, but I've done it before on a few occasions, both big and small. Sometimes I just do it in a church or a school with two singers and a piano. And on other occasions, I do it with maybe half a dozen singers. Um, and we have a big orchestra like we do at the stage. Yes, I, I basically, I, I'm a bit like sort of, you know, Bruce Forsyth. Um, <laughs> I'm not as funny and I don't dance, but um, I come on and really tell the stories of how the songs get written. Um, because there's usually a pretty good story behind most of the songs and people love knowing how songs got created and a few tales about Elton and Andrew Lloyd Webber and Bjorn and Benny, all the people I've been lucky enough to work with. Well, really, I was in, I mean, I come up to Sunderland quite a lot to see the football team because I'm a trustee of their charitable foundation, the Foundation of Light. And when I'm up here, uh, I often get nabbed. <laughs> and. I was taken along to see one of Maggie's centres, which is very impressive, and asked if I'd like to do something for, for the cause. And I've done this sort of show before, and it's always gone quite well. And it's really a very good opportunity for me to come up here and raise some cash for a very, very good cause. Not really. I mean, I've been very lucky. I've, I've, I've done quite a few musicals over the years, and some of them have done pretty well. Um, yeah, it's hard to say, really. Uh, you know, Joseph is the one that I think will go on for the longest because it's, it's children of all ages like that one. But um, I'm quite pleased with The Lion King and I've even got a, a brand new show which um, called From Here to Eternity and we'll probably do a couple of songs from that because the chap who wrote the music comes from the Northeast. He's, he's a Geordie called Stuart Brayson and he's a very talented composer so we'll do a couple of his songs as well.